Stitch number 15 in the patterns area is a mending stitch. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about stitches that you can set up for any length you want. Once we set the length, which I'll show you how, is then it'll go back and forth, back and forth multiple times from the left side of the foot to the right side and fill in that whole area here. So if we had an opening, a rip or something, we'd wanna interface the back of it and then start kind of in that upper uh, left corner of that opening. And if the opening is bigger than one pass will allow, we'll go ahead and repeat it multiple times until it's all covered up. This is what I'm talking about. When you pick this stitch, you're gonna notice there's a symbol of the reverse button on the screen. That indicates that when I touch this, this will set the length for this particular stitch. So as you start to sew, it's gonna continue all the way down until you stop it and engage the reverse button. Then what it'll do is stitch each time back and forth as you go. So while you're stitching down, that's when you touch the reverse button. Touch it while you're in motion. And then it's stitching at each of those needle positions we talked about, lots and lots of stitches, really fills in nicely with for a mending stitch. And just keep your foot on the foot control until it stops. There's the lock. And now, once again, if we need to start again, we can um, start back up here on the top left, maybe overlap a, a row or two, and then it could continue as far over as you need it to go over and over. But that's the width that one pass will make. Of course, you can make this any length you want. You could have it short, you could have it longer, and then it would just repeat until it gets to the very end of the sequence. Once it stops, you can go ahead and stitch it again.